welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. I hope you're all having a very happy day today. So today I will be going over my debt snowball with you guys. Well, an update of my debt snowball. And I should mention that this is my boyfriend's debt and my debt combined. We do live together and we feel that this will be a faster and more efficient way for us to tackle this debt. Okay, I will be getting started with my Barclay credit card. So, I actually have a bit of news for you guys. Not good news. <laughs> Um, our living spaces credit card was charged with around $500 of interest this month. And unfortunately, so was my boyfriend's Barclay credit card. So we've gained over a little over $1,000 in just interest this month. And that's my fault. I mean, I didn't check. I was not on top of it. Um, but luckily, when I checked when the interest was due for my Barclay credit card, I found out that it's actually in September. So this gives my boyfriend and I around five to six months to tackle this Barclay card and finish paying it once and for all. And the total for this is $1,897.53. Okay, I'm going to be taking you guys step by step, and this is how I figure out roughly how long it'll take me to finish paying this credit card off. So the total is $1,897. I'm going to subtract the minimum payment, which was $26, and that gives me $1,871. Okay, and just to keep all of us on track, I'm going to actually label each payment. So this was March minimum payment. And so since Living Spaces was the prior debt snowball goal, um, I'm actually taking whatever we had in there out and putting it towards Barclay and that was $217 so I'm going to subtract $217 okay that gives us 1654 and I'm going to label this March debt snowball And the next thing I'm going to be doing is finding out how much my new minimum payment is. So by finding out that, I'm going to add all of my previous minimum payments. So the first one was $30 from my Target credit card, which is now paid off. And the next one is $25 from my Amazon credit card which is now paid off and the final one is $77 and this was actually my boyfriend's payment for his coilovers which is thankfully paid off and this last one is $27 from my Barclay credit card so I just write B, just to let you guys know. And now we will be taking all of these and adding them up. So 30 plus 25 plus 77 plus 27 gives us $159. Awesome. So this $159 will be our new minimum payment. So this is the minimum that is going towards my Barclay credit card. So now I will be taking $1,654 and I will be subtracting 
and I get $1,495. And again, I'm just going to label the $159 as April minimum payment. Also, I'm just going to go in with a yellow highlighter to highlight the minimum payments. And I'll be taking a green highlighter to highlight our debt snowball goal for that month. So in March, my boyfriend and I will actually both be getting an extra paycheck. And so with that money, we'll have at least combined $600 to go towards debt and that's not including our goal of 150 so I added that to be $750 and this will be our April debt snowball goal and now I'll be taking $1,495 and subtracting $750 and I get $745 and now I'll just be subtracting the minimum payment gives us 586 and I set a goal for $150 from both my boyfriend and I to at least go to debt each month so that'll be May debt snowball goal going back in with the minimum payment for June And that gives us $277. So since we're left with only $277, I will make it our goal to finish paying this off in June. It is higher than the other amounts, but I feel like we can do it. So this will hopefully be paid off by June. And now that we are done with my Barclay credit card, we will be moving on to our next debt, which is living spaces. And the new total for this after interest is $1,751.85. And we're just going to go back to this sheet right here and see when we finished paying this one off, which is June. So for living spaces, I will be subtracting the minimum payment for every month up to June. And the minimum payment for this is currently So now that we have caught up to June, we are going to go back to this sheet and look at our new minimum payment, which is $159. So we'll be taking $94 and adding it with $159 to get our new minimum payment, which we get $253. So now we will be subtracting this from the current total due, well, as of June, <laughs> which gives us $1,216. And now that we have our minimum payment out of the way, we are going to go in with our July debt snowball goal which again is $150 and that gives us $1,066 and I'll just continue subtracting the new minimum payment with our debt snowball goal until I get down to the last payment here we're in August In September so 
So after this minimum payment, we're left with $410. And I'm going to make it our goal to pay off $410 in September because in August, my boyfriend and I, again, both have that extra paycheck. So that will be going towards this debt. And our extra paychecks combined should total around at least $600. And that's already excluding our sinking funds, but I'll show you guys that um, for this paycheck coming up, which will be the video after this. So that means we actually have an extra $200 to go towards the next credit card debt. So this should be paid off by September. So now we will be moving on from living spaces and go towards our next credit card, which is my boyfriend's Barclay credit card. And the total after interest for this one is $1,967.97. And by the way, we were just charged with interest literally yesterday. So, not fun. <laughs> and again, we are going to go back to the previous credit card that we were working on, which was Living Spaces. And look at the date, or the month I should say, that we finished, which was September. So I will be subtracting the minimum payment from this Barclay credit card um, up to September. And by the way, this is a rough estimate of everything. This is not 100% accurate. And the reason I say that is because the interest just went up on this card. Um, and before interest, our minimum payment for this card was $27. So I'm not sure what the new minimum payment for this card will be starting in April. But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to put $27. And now that we have reached the month of September, this is where we will have finished paying off our Living Spaces credit card, hopefully. So we need to figure out the new minimum payment for this credit card and in order to do that we will go back to this sheet right here and we will take two hundred and fifty three dollars and we'll add the minimum payment from here which is twenty seven dollars and sorry I'm not writing in the frame right now there we go so we're taking the previous minimum payment and adding it with this credit card's minimum payment and that gives us $280. So this will be the new new minimum payment. And honestly this is such a neat and fun thing to see that your minimum payment each month or with each debt you're knocking down I should say is just growing and growing. And I'll be taking this $280 and subtracting it from $1,778. And this gives us $1,498. And we're just going to go back to this sheet really quick. So the remaining was 410, which I told you guys that leaves us an extra $200 to go towards the next credit card, which is this one. So we will be adding that $200 with a $100 debt snowball goal for this month. So that gives us $300. And the total is $1,198. And again, I'm just going to continue going in with um, my minimum payment and my debt snowball goal for each month. 
So the minimum payments are highlighted in yellow and the debt snowball goals are highlighted in green. So I went up to December and now that I'm done with this, I'm going to go back to my debt snowball goal sheet here. <laughs> okay. And if you guys want to see me making this sheet right here, it's in one of my previous videos of my debt snowball. So we're just going to go back to this sheet here and things have changed as you guys know. So we are in March so I'll be erasing everything from April through December. And in March we paid off our Amazon credit card and the coilovers for my boyfriend's car. So I'll write that here. And next I'm going to add all of the minimum payments from our previous credit cards that we've paid. So it'll be $30 from Target, $25 from Amazon, and $77 from the Coilovers. And together that makes $132. And actually I'm going to erase this because I forgot to add um, the current minimum payment that we're paying for my Barclay credit card which is $27 so together with all four of those payments it equals $159 So now I'm just going to go back in and write the minimum payments for all of the months as well as my debt snowball goal for each month. So for April the minimum payment is $159 and our debt snowball goal for April is $750. Moving on to May, our minimum payment is still $159. And our debt snowball goal will be $150 going towards my Barclay credit card. For June, our minimum payment is still $159. And our debt snowball goal will be $277. <laughs> Moving on to July, um, this is when our minimum payment goes up, so the new minimum payment will be $253, and our debt snowball goal will still be $150. In August, the minimum payment will be $253, and our debt snowball goal will be $150. For September, our minimum payment will be $253, and our debt snowball goal will be $410. Moving on to October... Um, this is another new minimum payment, so it'll be $280. So this is when we start paying my boyfriend's Barclay credit card, which is where we got that extra $27 towards our minimum. Our debt snowball goal for October will be $300. In November, the minimum payment will be $280. 
and our debt snowball goal will be a hundred and fifty dollars and our last month December the minimum payment will still be two hundred and eighty dollars and our debt snowball goal will be a hundred and fifty dollars So we will still be trying to pay off this credit card by December. So in June we will finish paying off my Barclay credit card, in September we will finish paying off living spaces, and we should be finishing my boyfriend's Barclay card by January hopefully. Okay so now it's announcement time. <laughs> And <clears throat> quite a few of you have asked where did I get my envelopes and so I decided to create and open up my own Etsy shop where I will be selling all of these envelopes for you guys. And this is actually from the same paper where I created mine if you guys can tell. Um, so I will be getting more but for now I have most of these listed on the site and I'll be selling all of these individually. The reason for this is because I remember when I first started and people would only sell them in bundles and I remember I didn't like some of the patterns so I just wouldn't buy the set of them and that's when I decided to make my own. So I hope you guys like this more but if you guys prefer a bundle please let me know and just know that more is to come. <laughs> I will be getting more materials and I will provide bundle options for you guys. I hope you guys like these. Um, they're listed for $175 each since I do have to hand make these. And also my Etsy shop will be listed in the description box below so if you guys want to check that out. And just to let you guys know I did create an Instagram. So that's where I'll be updating you guys, so feel free to check it out. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a great day. And thank you for watching. Bye!